Hello everyone. Today is August 2nd, 2019, 5.10 p.m. I am at Astor Place right now in Lower Manhattan at the Astor Place Cube. This cube can actually rotate around if enough people are pushing it. I have seen people push it by themselves, but they need to be really strong. The temperature is 84 degrees Fahrenheit and that's 29 degrees Celsius. I'll be walking the entirety of St. Mark's Place in the Lower East Side today. St. Mark's Place is only three blocks long and it is actually a uh, part of 8th Street. It's the name of 8th Street past uh, 4th Avenue. Actually, I correct myself. It's past 3rd Avenue, which is Cooper Square, south of um, the Astor Place area. This to uh, the right of me is the Cooper Union. Cooper Union is a uh, higher education school. It had actually a free tuition policy for many, many years, but that was changed a few years back when the cost of education just became too high. So this is the Astor Place area. That right there is a building for St. John's University at 101 Astor Place. Okay, is the light going to change anytime soon? Okay. So, St. Mark's Place is known for its vibrant nightlife. It isn't really that late in the evening that people are coming out here to eat just quite yet, but it is a Friday, so there will be a good amount of people walking around here. Here you have Ray's Pizza as long, uh, along with some hand-rolled bagels, two of New York's specialty foods that are very popular, bagels and pizza. Here's um, Aliza's Local and the St. Mark's Hotel. This building I don't think is part of the hotel, it's something different. Barcade karaoke on the third floor. What I'm going to do is walk St. Mark's Place all the way to the end and then come back so I show you both sides of the street. This seems to be a art artist community, arts on site. Right here uh, written on the scaffolding says vegan food court. This is St. Mark's Vegan Food Court. You can find a lot of um, vegan spots to eat. New York is known for its many vegan restaurants and being inclusive to uh, persons of all natures and orientation. Here's a tattoos piercing parlor and a jewelry uh, and piercing company as well. This is the Chi snack shop. Although it looks more of a, uh, kind of like a grocery store inside too. Waga African Eats Ben and Jerry's ice cream. 
This uh, 886 is a Taiwanese restaurant. Kung Fu Tea is uh, known for its bubble teas. It's actually a very famous bubble tea chain in New York City and maybe even the world. I'm not sure where it originally came from. Ma Moon's falafel. So we have uh, Middle Eastern food here as well. Two Bros Pizza, only $1 a slice. You can also get two slices and a can of soda for $2.99. The tax is all included. Over here, there's Kyber Pass Restaurant. The hookah lounge is open. Even the exterior of this building looks very interesting. Ramen Setagaya. I even saw they have a vegan um, option, vegan ramen uh, option. Here's Joe's Steam Rice Roll. This is actually probably a new location. The canopy sign looks to be brand new. Originally, this restaurant chains from Flushing, and they specialize in their rice rolls, which are absolutely delicious. I know they have another location in the Canal Street Market as well, close to Chinatown. Here's a souvenir store. Looks like there's two individuals there having an argument. I'm crossing 2nd Avenue right now. There's Dallas BBQ. This is a coffee place, coffee and tea. An optician. There aren't too many restaurants uh, past 2nd Avenue. This is more known of, as the residential area of St. Mark's Place. This is the kind of block where you would imagine New York City if you see it in the movies. Here's a restaurant, the Clay Pot. You could walk right by it and not even know. St. Mark's Place ends right at Tompkins Square Park. The Tompkins Square area is within the East Village. Here's a dental office. Looks like garbage collection night is either tomorrow or today. Theater 80 St. Mark's. This is also an interesting uh, museum that not too many people know about, the Museum of the American Gangster. You can see many uh, relics from New York's more rough past in there.
New York had many, many issues with gangs back in the day, and it wasn't particularly a nice city to walk around, especially late at night. This is First Avenue. Okay, it looks like it's safe to cross the street now. Only one block more to go before uh, turn around. Here there's some more um, restaurants and other places. Rice Ball, uh, Tattoo Parlor, Fun City, Physical Graffiti. Nice pun there on the words, a sandwich shop. Here's a restaurant called Dumpling Man. Their slogan is handmade before your eyes. And it has a lot of Zagat rated signs on it, so they're probably really good. Done well donuts. Baked fresh daily. I think that sign says Pyro. Well, I can't really read the sign. Oh, right here. Proletariat. It's hard to read that old script. Here's a cool mural over here. That kind of looks like King Kong. Yeah, it is King Kong. Yellow taxis, I love New York. Davis Cafe. Here's the Crooked Tree Preppery Cafe and Restaurant. Looks like it's still under construction or renovation. Now here's uh, La Guntas Brewing Company. No, that's the name of the billboard. I'm not sure what business that is. Here's one that's for retail space or lease. Squish marshmallows. Interesting, there's a marshmallow place there. And I almost tripped on an uh, empty plastic cup there. You're looking to the right and then people is throw garbage. You almost tripped. Here's Gua. Not exactly sure what restaurant cuisine that is, but it looks like it's very, very busy and popular. Here's another bar. Here's Tremonti La Pizza, Italian restaurant. This uh, place, I don't see a business name yet, but it definitely has some interesting walls. That one that I just passed kind of looks like the Philadelphia's Magic Gardens over here. Very interesting actually. You can probably get a good Instagram picture from there if you really wanted to. There's Tompkins Square Park and Avenue A, the conclusion of St. Mark's Place. Yeah, it just says bar. No visible business name on the ex outside. And now I'll be turning back around. Okay. On the corner here, we have the trusty Starbucks Coffee Company. There's so many Starbucks in New York City, I don't know the exact number, but it seems like there's more popping up on every corner.
Mr. White is over here. Doesn't look like they're open just yet. 10 degrees. It's a hangout place and bar. Happy hour is ongoing right now. Hanoi House. It's a Vietnamese place, I would assume. And Hanoi Soup Shop. So these two businesses are uh, related to each other. This is Augur's Well. So this side of St. Mark's Place is just full of all the bars and restaurants. Criff Dogs. That's a really good place too, the Criff Dogs. Retail space for lease, everybody. Uh, here's a fertility acupuncture and interactive healing arts business. Tattoo. Cafe Mogador. Oh, this is also part of the same cafe. Here's the sock. Interesting uh, socks there, all different designs. East Village Books. These homes are really interesting. They got a lot of nice designs. Taberna, Portuguese restaurant. Here there's the missionary Sarah Curry. There's another bar on the corner. I'll turn my camera around once I get there so you can get a better view. A good night sunny bar. Here is the famous Stromboli pizza. I've eaten here many times and it's actually one of my favorite pizza places in New York City. It's been here for a very long time. Raka Cafe, Middle Eastern Grill. Sion Famous Foods, which originated in Flushing. It's a chain store of Chinese restaurant. Takira St. Mark's. This is La Palapa, Mexican cuisine. A holiday cocktail lounge. Here's some interesting artwork. It says, you get me so high. This is the trip showroom. In reference to that mural as well, I do see a lot of people pr uh, practicing recreational drugs on St. Mark's Place. Sometimes when you're walking by, you can just smell it in the air. It's that powerful. Live jazz bar, Jewels. Is St. Mark's Place Institute. Happy hour, Monday to 
Some of these building facades are really cool. Not too much detail on the ledges though. There's a body work business. This is Paper Daisy at St. Mark's. Drinks and other things. Dallas barbecue, ribs, chicken, and steaks. Takes up the corner location as well. Actually, it is one location. I thought it was a corner store and two separate stores due to the design, but it's actually one. The Noble Tea, Noble Tree Coffee Place doesn't look to be open. Let's see the notice on the door, what it reads. Oh my goodness. So here's another victim of the economy. This location was forced to close. Now it's located inside the Westfield World Trade Center. The body work location. This is 99 Favor Taste. Notice it doesn't say flavor, it's 99 uh, Favor. And then this one says 98. So is it 99 Favors or 98 Favors? And if, is it a pun on flavors? Jokes aside, I have heard that place is really good. This is uh, Yunnan nice rice noodles. Say hookah store to my right. This is the Bull McCaves bar. Here is Search and Destroy at the top. How to rest your head in roach infested basements. Smoke punk plate for breakfast. Now half off at Search and Destroy. Here's a restaurant. I don't know how to pronounce because the sign is in Japanese, but it's actually really good. It's really popular for quick bites and a lot of uh, drinks. It's known for their drinks as well. This me tea is very good for uh, bubble teas and fruit teas. This is a, uh, this is mango mango. What's up? This is St. Mark's Market. This is whatever tattoo. Okay. They weren't happy I was recording, but Whatever. Jaban sushi and noodle. This is Relax Spa. Udon West is to my right. Boca 9 St. Mark's. New Vibe Yoga. Here's O Taisho, which is excellent. Klang, the spot dessert bar is really good. And here's Yakitori Taisho. About those people back there who were wondering about me reporting and whatnot, they acted tough, but they didn't do anything about it. Plus, reporting is 
protected under the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, freedom of expression, legal to film in a public place with no expectation of privacy. This is so challenging for these cyclists trying to make a turn with all these pedestrians. Oh my goodness. Well, that's it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this walk of St. Mark's Place in its entirety, both sides of the street. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for some more adventures. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.